and also community who have come here to raise the potential. If from the beginning of the creation of this state, governors that have served in this state and worked with the Honorable Sarah King Dixon has done, we could have gone maybe 10 miles ahead. So we are praying to God to give you more strength, to do more things for the people of Bahasa State because in the next two years, he has promised to do more for us. It is a great joy for us to say thank you to all those who have come to be part of this celebration and we wish God's blessing to all of you. Thank you and God bless you. The national chairman of our great party, the dynamic, grassroots motivating chairman, Chris Butcher Sakando, and the entire membership of the National Executive, because of the shortage of time, rest on the well established protocol. I think that today is one of the greatest days that we will be home. Thanks because this is a wonderful example of performance. GDP by this kind of exhibition of performance is setting the tone for the recovery of power that will be getting lost come 2019. I want to say on behalf of all purpose restoration chairmen from the from the eight local government areas that we as chairman and other sectors of our society will confirm have been very lucky to have a wonderful government. A man who is not only a grassroots mobilizer, but one who is running a populist government, a welfare government, a man who knows the needs of the people and makes extra effort to bring them into fruition. What areas are we going to count? The performance is such that even when many people do not know, that if we put several states together, they have not done 50% of what has been achieved yet. That is the kind of opportunity we have, and we thank God extremely for this achievement. We handed in mandate six years ago, and our governor in turn handed over this state to Almighty God. You need to know that that is the secret. That is why there's so much success here. The things that are happening here can only be made possible with the hand of God and the government. And I welcome all of you, and because there's a long line of you who will speak, I want to say you are welcome to Bayelsa State, the Jerusalem of the Jordan, Bayelsa State, that you will see by the time it is concluding that this state that was one ruler has been transformed into a modern society. May God bless you. Uh, I wish you all well. PDP! PDP! Power to the people! that is bringing true restoration to the people of Bayelsa State and to the PDP in general. PDP! The national chairman of our great party and the yeah. national officers on behalf of the state executive committee of our great party, I want to welcome you to this sixth year anniversary rally that we are holding on this day, the 14th of February, 2018. And you will agree with me 
Governor, is it on the Valentine Governor that is ever known on planet Earth? Having said so, my national chairman, it is my great honor and privilege to welcome you to your state that is being led by a transformational leader, a leader that is transparent, a leader that has turned by Esa State gradually into a new Dubai, a leader that has ensured that consultative politics is the order of the day. Let me announce to you, my national chairman, this is the part of the state where we don't have any parallel ESCO. This is your state where we don't have any form of litigation. Today, there are most people that were waiting on the side that have made up their mind to come over to join this party so that you will see that Bayelsa State is only one party that is ready, that is only one party that has the potentials to win any election from any day within this period. I want to leave some of the achievements of the restoration government for other speakers to make. But there is a point that I want to establish that I want everybody to take away. There is one practical characteristic that I've seen about right now with any Seraki Dixon that is worthy to be mentioned today. That is his capacity to ensure that the younger generation is brought on board to ensure that they get conscious of the fact that leadership has come to them. May I announce to you that in the leadership of Dr. Bukhani Seraki Dixon, just a few days ago, he just appointed a 34-year-old young man as a commissioner, the Commissioner for Youth Development. Honorable Bara is just 34 years old, not married. That is a pointer that this governor is a youth-friendly governor, is a mentor to the younger ones that are coming. Let me take advantage of this privilege to speak to my fellow youths on this epoch-making occasion. The leadership of the future of our state lies in the hand of the youth. Let me announce to you, if you are a kidnapper, you cannot fulfill your potentials that God has endowed you with. If you are practicing cultism, you cannot fulfill the endowment that God has endowed you. If you are criminally attended, you cannot further your life beyond your nose. Let me announce to you, if Bala can be a commissioner at age 34, and if my humble self can be chairman of this party at this hour, that is a great hope to our youth that if we can follow leadership, if we can obey the tendencies of leadership, if we can live legitimate life, if we can be patient, if we can put to practice all the natural potentials that God has endowed us, the sky below shall be our limit. Let me announce to you this afternoon. The time for politics is coming. We have a leader that is leading us well. One primary characteristic that he has taught us is to be conscious of time in political adventures. Let me give the assurance to the PDP family that PDP is standing campaign. PDP under the Ottoman paper is fully focused. We are planning, we are working hard, delivering democratic promises that he has made. I know and I believe in our people. At the fullness of time, you will give us 100% support to carry the restoration agenda that has taken us so far. Let me tell you, in the end, restoration government shall eat the Atlantic. If you are excited, please put your hands together for Jesus Christ, the one that the Ottoman people respect, the one that the Ottoman people works with, that has given you wisdom and knowledge and understanding, that has given us peace. Let me not continue for too long. Honorable Bara is here. Let the whole of this country see this young man standing beside me. This is a 34 years old young man. He is not married still searching. There are so many people that would want to be with him. He is a commissioner. Young man, can you look at this boy? If this boy can be a commissioner, 
under this government that have so much regard for you, then you have hope. Then you don't need to get yourself involved in things that are illegitimate. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Your Excellency, the Governor of Bayelsa State, our very distinguished national chairman of our great party, the People's Democratic Party, Prince Uche Sakandus, the Deputy Governor, members of the Senate, members of the House of Representatives here, very distinguished personalities, that have come to attend this great epoch-making occasion. Ladies and gentlemen, today marks the sixth anniversary of our governor, your former member, that all of us, all of us here, admitted to be the best governor that have ever ruled by Elsa State. I say this without mixing words because as all of us are aware, the founding fathers of this state had always dreamt that we will be taken to the next level of life. And in doing that, there were some lapses, there were some perceived inadequacies particularly in our development agenda. And that was why the language restoration became very adequate. Restoration is just that you may have lost your first glory. You may have swayed from the original plan. And that there is the need or there was the need for a reassignment. And to do that, there was no other person. To do that, there was no other person supported apart from Henry Seriake Dixon, the Oklahoma Pepper. It is not any can say that all of us are witnesses of the things to be restored. Look at where we are. It portends that actually there was the need for a change and there, is, there was the need for a redirection of the job people. We are now here celebrating the good things of life. This is what restoration is all about. Restoration has brought education that was lost, that was not anywhere back to the Greeks as we speak. Over 32 schools are built across the, uh, across the state. That is to say, across the local governments and all the constituencies, there are boarding schools built. And there are also hospitals built in all the local government headquarters. Look at it. For the German to think that we have to go to the next level, and airport is now built. We have been traveling to other states very soon. We will not travel to anywhere anymore. People traveling outside this country. That is to say, restoration is on course. Let's it up. We are here in our number to tell you that we are standing behind you to ensure that all your dreams, all your aspirations, all your wishes, all your goodness, all your interpretations will come to bear. And that is why we will not hesitate to give you all the budgetary demands that you need. Every budgetary demand that you have put forward, I consult with my members going forward is hereby approved. We wish to tell you that we will stand shoulder to shoulder with you to ensure if it were possible, we would have passed the vote not for lay of confidence, 
But we would have made a law that you continue for tax step. But as it were, the Constitution has barred us, and so we will not be going that far. But by the grace of God, we are sure in you that we are standing with you to end you well, not just to end your tenor, but to end well in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you for the way you have worked and served your people, the people of my state for six years. And we are all happy with you. That's why the National Assembly members are all here to support you. You are seated. We will always be with you. We will be at peace with you. And the rest are sure that our ambassadorial work in the National Assembly we continue without any rancor. We will always cooperate with you. The rest assured, we are going to work and support the restructuring of this country, and we will make sure that your ideas will be presented properly and that the state will have more powers to do what we want to do. We need all the support. We will support the state police because we need to support our people, the place where states are attacked, and the federal authorities are unable to defend their people. It cannot be tolerated in this country. Sure, sure. We need a restructuring in the economy, a restructuring in the political space to ensure we have authority to do more things for our people rather than waiting for a government that is lazy. On this note, we want to thank you. We want to bless you. We want to thank all of you by answers for standing by the restoration governor. He's going to thank governor. We want to assure the party, the national chairman, by answers state is behind you. We supported you during the election as our own. And today you are national chairman. All national executive members, we welcome you. Please put Jay Secondus, the total chair. We thank you for your presence here. Again, we want to thank more and more of your people for being here. All the visitors, we welcome you. My other people will continue to work for you. Thank you and thank you and thank you. Mr. Chairman, sir, members of the National Working Committee, may I at this point, by your kind permission, invite each of the eight leaders of the different groups that are returning to the big umbrella to speak for one, one minute before you formally receive them. Come out to the people! Your Excellency, Honorable Eric Serapi, the same governor by Ita State, please permit me to observe Edward Akutuko. I bring greetings from the Interparty Advisory Council and also the Council of Nigerian Political Parties on this occasion of by Ita State Resolution Government at 6. Secondly, Your Excellency, you are aware that on the 8th of September 2017, you witnessed the inauguration of a 10 man committee by the State Party Chairman or the Board of with the sole aim of reaching out to our brothers and sisters who defected to the All Progressive Congress about two years ago to return back to the party. 
And of course, that committee was headed by another person, the Administration Advisor on Political Matters, which I also serve as the Secretary. Mr. Chairman, sir, this is the result of that assignment today. We are standing here bold to say that before we go into the next round of elections, the few remaining people out there will also be consulted and engaged constructively to come back to the umbrella. Thank you and God bless you, sir. At this point, at this point, I'd like to, with utmost humility and sense of duty, I'd like to, at this point, invite our total chair, the national chairman of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Prince Uche Secondus, to formally receive the campus. Shall we please put down together for him? PDP! PDP! Power to the people! Your Excellency, are they performing governor of Bayasa State? It is a thing of joy for members of the National Working Committee to be here with you. Today, as you know, and our teaming supporters and members nationwide, by yes, sir, by the grace of God, today, 14th of February, on the Valentine Day, we are relaxing in Bayesa at the pavilion, what I will call the Aqua Stadium of Nigeria. Because this is the first time we have witnessed and seen this type of project. But let me, on behalf of National Working Committee, receive that members who have been it necessary to be able to come back home from ABC. You and I are the government and the government. All rights and privileges are hereby restored unto you. You are free to contest the election. There will not be any barrier to any of your expressions. You are eligible you are competent, you have the right to be as if you are 7 years or 16 years old members of this party. And by extension, let me say here that no state chapter should bar anybody from coming into our party. We have opened the doors, the space is hereby open. And we are waiting, starting from Bayesa today, we are waiting for others, very prominent stakeholders of our nation, to come over to the party that will rescue, rescue our nation from this challenge of difficulties, hunger, uh, killings, and all poverty. I believe that today you can see can you put all your broom here so that we can see you no longer carry broom? Put your broom down. Put your broom down. Our country witnessed the era of broom from 2015. This broom has brought us evil. This room has brought us vengeance. This room has brought us hunger. This room has brought us poverty. This room has brought us killing in our land. Today, from Bayasa, we will continue to receive this room and we'll throw them into the ocean. We'll throw them into the Red River. Never again shall our people witness killing. Never again shall we witness poverty by the act you have performed here back. And thereby congratulate you and welcome you to the party. Congratulations, all of you and your supporters. Thank you and God bless all of you. Thank you. Can you move this way? Mix it Excellent.
and see my dear wife, Your Excellency, the Deputy Governor, Your Excellency, our leader, the leader of our party, leader of our state, leader of our people, Prince Uche Secondo, National Chairman of the Good Democratic Party. You are welcome home. This is your home. This is your Jerusalem. You are welcome home. Let me appreciate the members of the National Assembly from Bayelsa, all the senators, all the members of the House of Reps who are here. Let me recognize former governors, Captain Walter Fayabo, who is here. I recognize and I appreciate you. Your Excellency, former Deputy Governor, Prime Way, Baby Obudu, you are welcome. I appreciate you. Let me recognize another son of the soil who is today the National Vice Chairman of our party in our zone. The son of the soil, Mr. Wright, Elder Emmanuel Obidi, National Vice Chairman of our zone. Thank you. Let me recognize all the members of the National Working Committee of our party. All of you who are here, I appreciate you more. I also appreciate you more. Let me appreciate and welcome warmly also all the members of the, uh, the Zonal Committee of our party who are here. The State Chairman, the Performing Young Dynamic Chairman of our chapter in Bayelsa, Robert Bobby, doing a great job. Let me recognize all the members of your working committee. Let me appreciate and recognize Mr. Speaker, leading the most stable, the most productive, and the most supportive House of Assembly of all Houses of Assembly in this country. Mr. Speaker and honorable members, leadership and members of the House, I greet you all. The Secretary of Government, the Head of Service, the Chief of Staff and the Deputy, members of the State Executive Council. Let me recognize all of our chapter chairmen, the local government council chairmen, our leaders, the caucus chairmen, the members of the BOT of our party here. Let me recognize all our friends from across the length and breadth of our country. Just before climbing there, I saw Horrible Mutari Shagari, former minister, former deputy governor of Sokoto State, here in solidarity. I also saw former Deputy Senate President Elijah Ibrahim Mantu here in solidarity. And here, even here on this stage, former Minister John Ode and several other leaders of our party. I saw Senator Bob Elfion. I saw so many leaders, brothers, and friends, not only across this stage, but across the length and breadth of our nation. Let me also specially recognize our brothers and friends and my country people who crossed to the other side and who have just returned home from exile and from the wilderness. Mr. Chairman, thank you for receiving all of them. They are all our good friends. And for some of them, they have actually been our allies for a long time top government functionaries, the most beautiful women God ever created.
to welcome you all to this brief display of what the new Bayelsa has come to represent. And I want to, on behalf of our state, warmly welcome our own leader, our brother, a Bayelsa in his own right. For those of you who do not know, know that the national chairman of PDP is a Bayelsa in his own right. that the National Vice Chairman of the PDP is a Bayelsa in his own right to But let me welcome you all both and all our friends and brothers who are here as part of your entourage. They are all Bayelsans from today. Because in the new Bayelsa, we welcome and receive all good people. And we say all good people in this whole country, if you are a good person, you mean well for Nigeria, you mean well for our people, then you are a Bayelsa. <laughs> so thank you very much, Mr. Mr. Chairman, today's event is twofold. Today's event is to welcome you and your colleagues who are entrusted with the leadership of our party home. Because this is your home. And this, truly speaking, this state is the foundation of BDP. The foundation of BDP. And that was why the other side in the last governorship election, they did everything to take my answer by force. That is all. That's all. And by the grace of God, and with your support, you the people, you the people, because they know that PDP is represented, symbolized in Bayelsa, they wanted to destroy the soul and spirit of the country by taking Bayelsa forcefully, by hook or by hook. But God did it alive. You, the women, you, the youth, you, the people of Bayelsa, did it alive. And so today we are standing here celebrating six years of the restoration of it. Standing here in Kikiba. And still coming to We are here today, therefore, because of the goodness of God from whom all power flows. We are here also because political authority after God flows from you, the people. We are here celebrating achievements of our restoration government because you have supported us, because you have prayed for us, and because you have always stood with us down the road up to now and even beyond. So today, apart from that, we are also using this Valentine's Day because as you know, I'm the only Valentine government in the whole world. Chairman of the major national political party. Mr. Chairman, this honor has been given to you by your people, by your state, because you deserve it. And we thank God for everything. And we want to use this occasion to assure you that 
We, your people, we, your government, we, your states, are with you and will be with you all the way. We pray that your leadership should lead to success in our party and in our country. But because you are now here on Valentine's Day, we are sure that the good Lord of Bayelsa and the God of Restoration will restore everything that you are involved in in Jesus' name. Yeah. Now, apart from celebrating our leader, we are today also commissioning this wonderful edifice and I thank our chairman and leader who has done the commissioning. Bayelsa now has the best schools, best public schools. Bayelsa has wonderful public health care facilities. Bayelsa has wonderful infrastructure, roads and bridges. And we continue to do more and more. Bayelsa is one of the safest, one of the sta most stable places to be, to invest in and to live in. We are utilizing this occasion, this occasion of the grand launching of this pavilion to also signpost another side of Bayelsa that we want to reveal to the whole country and to the world. That Bayelsa from now on will also become the headquarters, not just of education, not just of health care, not just of agriculture, not just of good governance and tolerance and maturity, not just of transparency and accountability, but also the headquarters of tourism in Nigeria. This is the beginning. Thank you. We will be commissioning the new Yanagua city. We will be commissioning the international airport, the longest runway in this part of the country. We have so many projects lined up. Two days from now, former President Obasanjo will be here to commission wonderful medical facilities. Yes, I talk, I do. Chairman, thank you for coming to unveil this. After today, this place will now be open. The committee will be put in place to manage and maintain it. And all those of you who want to enjoy the aquatic splendor of our state, which is the Florida of Nigeria, you are free to come here. You will host events. The boat club is there. It has been commissioned. This is the Yanagua City Boat Club. And the pavilion is there. Members of the public do not need to go to our stadium for events. Our stadium is being turned around to be one of the best stadiums in Nigeria. We will also, we'll also complain that very soon. So, welcome to the new Bayelsa. And I thank once again the chairman. I thank my able team. I thank party leaders. Let me also briefly appreciate and welcome to our party. All those who left before, my friends and my brothers and sisters, who are now back to the umbrella again. I thank you, Chairman, for receiving them on our behalf. And I assure you all, and I assure the party, that as you know, we are proponents of politics of accommodation and tolerance. That's part of what we have given in this state in the past six years. They know it. Our party will be fair to all concerned. But our party is also a party of discipline. Our party is a party of respect for constituted authority. And so you are all welcome. I thank you all for coming. I thank all our leaders and chiefs and women and youth. You've been here since morning, so I'd like to stop at this stage. I thank you very much. Continue to support us. Continue to work and encourage us. Continue to pray for us. Restoration is guaranteed, and our state will change for the better in Jesus' name. Thank you very much, and God bless you all. And happy Valentine, happy Valentine, happy Valentine to you all. Thank you, God bless you all. For all what you have done, in order not to take much of your time, this is a award of leadership excellence award presented to His Excellency. Honorable Peg is a to Governor of Bayasa State in recognition of your giant stride and unparalleled development achievements in building a sustainable 
my answer for posterity. Congratulations. Okay, <laughs> chairman of our party. <laughs> the same thing. We have done so much. PDP uh, is almost synonymous to you. So you cannot just come to come and give color to this our ceremony and walk away like that without your appreciating it. When His Excellency uh, quest for the return, about 650 something support groups and NGOs come together to give him support, and we are still giving him support. We are sure you that the same is going to be mobilized under the leadership of Dixie. So as far as government Dixie is concerned, you don't have any fear in Bayasa State. PDP is in very, very safe hands. So we are giving you this award, Party Man of the Year Award, presented to Prince between second National Chairman People's Democratic Party, DDP, in recognition of your standing leadership qualities that has brought greater cohesion and stability to our National Party, the People's Democratic Party, DDP. This award is presented on the 14th February 2018 on the occasion of the 8th anniversary, 6th anniversary celebration of the Restoration Government led by Honorable Sarah Dixie, Governor of Bayasa State, contesting leadership of 652 NGOs on the platform of Bayasa Unite for Dixie. Congratulations, sir.